points of today's Murli. Human beings of the Iron Age would not teach you the Raj Yoga of the Gita or make you into kings of kings. After insuring yourselves, you also definitely have to do service. Maya too is very powerful. Baba is powerful in making you pure. This is why he is called the Almighty Authority and the Purifier. Then Maya is powerful in making you in People follow the wrong path. That is why they are unhappy. Although the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul is called the Almighty Authority, Maya too is no less. Her kingdom continues for half a cycle. The number one enemy is lust. This vice of lust causes you a lot of distress. You have to conquer it. These things can only sit in the intellects of those who follow Srimad. The father knows who can explain, who are sensible in doing service, whose line is clear and who remains soul conscious. You have to check your attitude and not perform any sinful actions with your physical organs. While you are walking along, Maya catches hold of you by the nose and makes you go crazy. She is so powerful that she makes you divorce Baba. Today Baba says, don't perform any sinful deeds through your physical organs. If we will make any sinful thoughts in our mind, that sin is not make hundredfold sin. But if we do sin in our action, at that time, that sin will become hundredfold. That's why Baba says, don't perform any sinful deeds through your physical organs. When we have in our heart honesty, at that time, we talk with Baba about our mistakes. At that time, our sins will forget by Baba. When we do sin, at that time, we should tell about that sin. That time, our sins account is reduced half. That's why we should talk about our instrument soul. But when we do sinful actions again and again, at that time, that sin become not sinful account, that will become the curse. The curse means, I can't never change that. So, we should consider about these things. Be careful in our Brahmin life. Om Shanti